think there's a certain Don Quixote-like quality to the beginning of the nights, a bunch of recent graduates coming together and saying, we want to start an orchestra. Reading chamber music in the living room, eating food, drinking wine, getting to know each other. It was completely unexpected that 10 years later, the group would be thriving as an orchestra together, playing concerts, touring around the world, making recordings. It's an interesting time to be having a 10th anniversary when we are not able to be together in the same space performing as a full orchestra. And it makes me reflect on the things that I love about the Knights. Part of the artistic DNA of the Knights is the many talents that people bring to bear. While most of us have a very strict conservatory training, we have people who are versed in the jazz worlds, people who are singer-songwriters, people who are composers, arrangers, those who specialize in new music. So Eric and my jobs are to find a way that those voices can come to the fore at various times and enrich what this tradition of orchestral music is. The Knights have been kind of a musical sandbox for me in a lot of ways to bring ideas, no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter how crazy seeming. And to know that I have that place where I can try things out, where I can be given feedback, and most importantly, where I'm gonna have a group of musicians who I love take my ideas seriously and really try them out in earnest. It's a very special place where we're encouraged to think big and to bring whatever big thinking you have to the table instead of kind of lurking within a hierarchy. Music lives and breathes in front of human beings and we can't wait for the moment when we can play in front of all of you again in person.